whole subject. Um, I want to tell a true story uh, about one of my personal experiences, a uh, really frightening experience uh, that I had a few years back uh, with a paranormal demonic um, experience. All right, so my story starts about, oh, what is it now, like five years ago? Five years ago, I moved into this freaky house. Um, it was over 100 years old. It was on uh, about 20-something acre property, um, really old barn in the pasture. Um, the house itself was over 100 years old. It was nice and everything inside. Um, really old, like, garage and barn type area. And it was really a strange, strange experience. Um, I'm going to tell you a few things that happened in that house that were pretty bizarre, pretty frightening. I've never been in a place like that, um, and I don't want to be. <laughs> Anyways, I felt like there was some serious, legitimate, demonic, dark entity in that house um, from something. And I had night terrors often. Um, I would have horrible dreams, um, and I would wake up out of a dead sleep just screaming, just screaming. And um, one night there was a dream that I had where there was demons surrounding me. Like I was in like a bubble force field of some kind, and they were all surrounding me in the bubble, and they were they had black eyes and snake tongues, and they were mad. They were ang so mad because they couldn't get to me. I was like in a bubble force field. Anyways, um, I had those dreams, and some weird things happened too. I was downstairs one day. And the downstairs was a really creepy old basement. Um, and when I was going up the steps from the basement, right behind me on my right shoulder, I heard like like something like snort, like a like a like a like a growl, like a breath over my shoulder. And at first, I thought it was my dogs poking their nose up above the stairway through the railings. But there was no dog up there, and I looked behind me, and the, the back basement was just dark and creepy, and I had the weirdest, eeriest, nastiest feeling that something bad was right behind me, and I ran. But that's not one of the scariest incidences that happened at that house. Um, there was also numerous times where doors and windows would slam shut, um, the lights would flicker off and on and even pop and spark um, and upstairs there was like kind of like a loft sort of room and then there was a bedroom attached to that and the weird part about this house is it had a couple little parts of it like under the staircase and in one of the bedrooms upstairs they had these little doors like little tiny little doors for like extra storage space kind of. Um, kind of think of like Harry Potter, how he had that little door underneath the stairs. Yeah, it had one of those under the stairs. And then upstairs in the bedroom, you opened up the little closet and there was another creepy little tiny door going back further in the closet. Um, and if any of you have seen the movie Paranormal Activity, yeah, that's how it was, those little doors. And the creepy part that happened, I'm going to tell you, this scared the shit out of me, um, and hardly anything does. But one day, I was upstairs in that bedroom with my third daughter, and we were folding laundry, we were folding clothes on the bed in there, and she had been sleeping up there. And for a while, she hadn't been sleeping there. She'd been sleeping in the living room next to my bedroom every night. And I didn't know why, but I let her. And anyways, we were folding laundry. And she tells me to turn around. And on the wall, the wall was like 
plaster, drywall kind of material. I turned around on the wall, and it's hard to describe, but um, there were images raised up from the wall. It, they weren't carved into the wall. They weren't drawn on the wall. The wall was like raised up in the images. I can't, I don't know how to describe it, but it kind of looked like how the dry, how drywall is like raised up from the wall. That's what it looked like, only there were specific images. And I kind of drew something to show you a little bit about what those images looked like, it, what, what that wall looked like. I hope you can see it. But there were like random scribbles like this. And it had this um, six-pointed star, just like this with the numbers on it, and then it had this picture of this alien, and it had the words illegal aliens on there, and then it had um, this like scribbled looking, weird looking face, where you could see like the eyes, the nose, and the mouth and stuff kind of, but this is what the, this is what the images look like, raised up, like puff paint, like the only way I can describe it is like if somebody wrote those images on the wall with puff paint and painted it over so it blended in with the wall and it was raised up from the wall. And then my daughter, and I was looking at it like, what the hell? I've never seen something this weird. And um, my daughter said, Mom, Toby did it. And he keeps me up at night. That's why I don't sleep here anymore. And I'm like, oh shit, you know, she has never seen that movie, Paranormal Activity. She doesn't know anything about that Toby thing and whatever they were talking about with the demon in the closet and the little door that was in that room. You feel me? Like, I, I was so panicked. I'm like, get out, get out. Let's just go downstairs right now. Right now. I gotta get out of here. But um, that house was severely infested with some kind of dark energy that I felt and some weird shit happened. So just wanted to kind of tell you one of the many, many stories of my paranormal experiences, the true stories that I've had. Um, not a lot scared me. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, like I explained earlier with the weird situation with my eyes and how I can see um, light and shadow differently. But that was, that was quite, quite terrifying. And um, I, I don't, I kind of, since then, I've discovered what the dark ones, I call them the dark ones, dark energy, demons, whatever you want to call them, whatever word you want to call them, it's all the same energy, it's just energy, there's positive, there's negative energy, that's it, everything can be categorized into either positive or negative energy, whatever religion you call it, whatever belief you think of, good and bad exists in the world and the worlds beyond, right? So, I call them the dark ones. And uh, I have different theories and deep level thoughts about what they are exactly. I've had terrifying, terrifying nightmares about the gray aliens, which I think are one and the same. Um, I've had sleep paralysis, sleep, sleep paralysis dreams and situations and night terrors where I've like, literally woke up screaming and frozen with paralysis because of those entities, um, I believe. And, but, I've, but since then, I've discovered what they don't like. What kinds of things can you do to repel those dark energies? Um, that's what I want to help you all with. So, hope you like my story. <laughs> More to come.